means to 1100. So you on. Well, wow, different, right? You know, it seems like there's no movement, huh? but actually it's rotating at 1100 revolutions per minute. Okay, other PM are very fast. Huh? So if you fix your cutter here, that means 1100, 1100 RPM. Okay. And the finger always you must take care of the safety. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Especially right, you are using the high RPM. And when you cut the thumb, you will have a loose or aluminum chip, aluminum chip flying around. All this small, small, small chip, okay? Aluminum chip flying around. So make sure that you wear your goggles for your own safety, yeah? protect your eyes. Any question? Okay, here, this table, this is a vertical feed. Vertical feed is for you to elevate the table, uh, table movement only on the vertical axis. Alright, okay. So normally we use this one as a form of uh, using to set the depth of cut that you want. If you want to cut the depth of 1 mm, we set from here, from the reading here. Okay, that's it. Alright. Okay, no question. Anyone, anyone got any question? No question. This is a spindle lock. When you push up, it's unlocked. Unlock the thumb, meaning this spindle can use for use for what? Drilling. Okay, drill hole. When you are doing drilling, you have to unlock this. Okay, this is a spindle. The whole machine, uh, this one, this part is very important. Uh, this is a spindle. Once the spindle damage, uh, that means the accuracy of the machine is no more accurate. Uh, okay. So here, this is the main portion. Uh, right? Okay. If I do normal cutting, do normal milling, that means this one must be locked or unlocked. Uh, must be locked. Lock is down. Uh, just downward. Okay. So this is the spindle lock. Any question? So, that's why I say this one is vertical feet. 13, 14. Right? And we'll call the longitudinal feet, or we call this an X axis. This one is a cross feet. Okay, the table move across here, this direction. Alright. Oh. I can move the time. You can move either from this side or I can either move from this side. Okay, now the machine layout here is very close together. So when you walk, be careful. Uh, especially this spot here. Some of them are uh, accidentally they walk, uh, just trip uh, and then can fall. Uh. Okay, be careful of the handle here. Alright. Okay, so in the workshop, please don't run. Uh. When you walk, move around, please open your eyes quickly. Uh. Understand? Don't get yourself injured unnecessarily. Uh. Okay? So this one over the side, one over here. So this is a common area for the tooling that you are using. Alright? So your group over this side, you use a tooling here. Some of the cutting tools here, normally we are using, most commonly we are using this cutter. This is the MU cutter, diameter 20. Okay? And then you have one, two, three, four cutting gate. This is called the four flutes. How you spell flutes? F L U T E S. Flutes, huh? Okay, F L U T E S. Four cutting edges are huh? four flutes. This one when you handle the cutting tool, make sure you don't hold the cutting edge. Cutting edge is very sharp. Okay, don't cut your finger on the Hold at the shank here. This is the shank, the straight portion here. Alright, and this shank here, diameter 20. Okay, this diameter is 20. Alright, we are going to fix this cutter. I will show you how to fix the cutter to the machine. Okay. To put below here, why you need this piece of plank here? What's the reason why I use this one? Yes. Go here. Okay, so when the cutter drops, you hit, 
you will not damage the cutting edge. Because this wood is soft, right? The cutting tool is high speed steel, HSS. So when you hit the metal part on one, uh, maybe you will cause the cutting edge to chip off. Right? That means when you do cutting the thumb, the surface finishing will be affected. Right? So put a cut your board on the table here, move the table to one side. First thing, this is the adapter. Adapter already mounted to the spindle. Okay, this one is the adapter, and then you this is the adapter nut. You take out this one, loosen this way. Alright. Take out this one. After take out already, use a collet. That's what I told you, right? Use the right size of the collet. This one diameter 20. The cutter. You use a spring collet diameter 20, same size as the cutting tool, the, the diameter of the shank. Okay. The collar you can see here there's a groove here. Alright, uh, recess, they call it we call it recess. This one the collar must put in the right position. Uh. Put this way in. Put in this way. And then make sure that it's here, it's flat. Okay, nothing touch up. Uh. Don't put this way, uh. like that is wrong. Uh. Right wrong. Like that is wrong. Uh. Okay, put it this way. Alright. Then after that, once you put the collar in already, put back. Turn which direction? Anti-clockwise or clockwise? Anti-clockwise is out right. Clockwise, clockwise this way. Okay. Turn a few turn. After that, what do you do? This is a C spanner. Before you use a speed C spanner to tighten. Now the shank normally we will put the shank into the slide in. About three quarter of the length go inside. Three quarter. That means seventy-five percent. Okay, tighten until here. All right. So you, when you grip the cutter, you grip about here, around here. Don't grip on the cutting edge, ah. Grip here. Then you insert in until here. You stop. Hold the cutter, ah. Don't let it drop, ah. Turn some more. Keep turning until it's tight. Okay. Now use a C spanner. You got four teeth. One, two, three, four. How you put the teeth? How you put a spanner, how you tighten? Show me. Right or wrong? You see here, right or wrong? Any question? Make sure that this party must sit into the slot here. Any question? Alright, you don't put a you don't put a C spanner outside like this. Like that is wrong, huh? Okay, there's a danger here because when you sleep the thumb your hand will cut into your cutter. I mean uh, your palm uh, will just slide and then you will cut in your alright so make sure that from below see into the slot all the four teeth must be into the slot ok now now I turn like that this spindle is turning right it's not tightened yet uh. so I want you to get a frame to push a brake or you have to push a brake like that one hand push here to hold together then tighten like this Alright, tighten. Yeah. Or in, if you cannot reach, ask your friend to push a brake tight, then like that tighten. Okay. Then after tighten and this one, release it back. So this is considered after properly tighten. Any question? If you want to take out the cutter, what must you do? The other way, take a copper mallet. Put here, ask your friend to help you push the brake, push tight. Ah, then, tighten is this way, right? Make sure that we tap the thumb, this one don't move. The spindle don't move, okay? Tap a two, three thumbs, alright, enough already. Let's tighten. If you want to take out the cutter, what must you do? This way, the other direction, ah. knock out, knock out, ah. knock in, ah. in is for tightening, out is for Loosening. This loosening cutter. After loosen cutter already, don't use your hand uh, to pull. Uh. Cannot come out right. One more time, give a jerk. Just jerk like that. Alright, then hold at the, hold, hold at the shank there. Right, uh. This is how you take out the Alright, after that, one more time, hold the shank there. Don't hold the cutting edge. Uh. Okay, then. Give a jerk in front like this. Then after that, now you see it cannot come out right. So what you do? 
Don't go and pull out. Uh. Use this one. From behind here, tap. Uh, this one very important. Uh. Okay, I don't want your hand to get cut. Uh. This, okay? Uh, this is cutter loose. Take out. Take out the collar. The drill chuck. Change the collar, collar to diameter 16 because this one is 16 mm. Same size. Uh. Right? Okay, first thing what you do, pull out, put the collar in first. Uh. Every time remember, uh, put the collar in first and then put back this thing, the adapter nut. All right? Then insert in and give a gap in between for the spanner to sit in. Alright? So after that, tighten. Like this. Hold. Tap this way in, tighten. Okay? Alright. Before you cut, you're going to clamp, use a file to deburr the side first. Just file here a bit, all the edges. Alright? Okay, deburr the side edges, both sides. Okay? On pull two pieces, ah. these two pieces. All the edges for it. Touch out a bit. Alright, like this. Okay, now here. Okay, the power here. Then the vice center take out. Oh my god. Alright, right, put off the Get off the main switch first. Same thing. Table, move back to the center. Come here, okay? Center, roughly, okay? No need to be exact. Uh. This one lower down a bit. Okay, this one lower down a bit. Alright, put off the Then, clean up. Cleaning are very easy. Uh. Start from the top. All the vice and from here, clean up the chip. Okay, start from here. Brush away all the chip. This side here. And then behind, this side here. This is a brush. Send away. Alright. Then. Okay. And then this side. Okay, do this side now. Oh, here there's a tray. Uh. Here there's a uh, aluminum plate. No need to slide open. Uh. Just like that, can clean up generally. Then in front here, clean up, brush away from the side. Brush away, that is sideways, uh, brush sideways. Uh. Here, then behind also, same thing. Same one side. All brush down to the floor. All, all cleaning, brush down to the floor. Both side. Like this. Okay, behind. Wherever you see the chip there, you just brush on. Okay, the last part here, come to the wet. The base of the machine here, clean the chip now. Right, like this. Okay, generally the machine must be clean now. Right? Now the chip now. This is your part of the training. Uh. This one will include in your attitude marks. Uh. You know attitude marks in the marking scheme are uh, 20%. Uh. So this part and parcel of your training. Uh. Okay. If you never clean properly, your housekeeping, your mark will be deducted. Uh. Alright? I know who is lazy or who, who never clean properly. Uh. You can see one. Uh. So clean properly. 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 Clean properly.
Okay, follow my channel, alright? Then, you also. Okay, puppy. Generally, must be clean, huh? Okay. You okay? Okay, once everything is done, 